Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont, and I'm the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides, as well as the In 30 Minutes Cheat Sheets on technology topics. Today, I'm going to be talking about using a service called uh, Amazon A Plus Pages. And this is useful if you like to market stuff on Amazon, as I know many people do. I've done some other videos about using Amazon marketing services, but this is a separate type of program. And to illustrate what it does, I'll show you uh, a, a product page. This is for a uh, some kind of teapot and you can see at the top it has a, it has the normal description like every product does as well as a picture that that's normal everybody has that but then if you scroll down you'll see that there's other stuff too there's more pictures there are these ex, extra uh, paragraphs and photos sometimes you see things like uh, comparison charts and you may be wondering how the heck do you set that up for your product page how did this company uh, chef essential do this uh, to get to get these extra features on the page and the answer is they used a program called Amazon A plus uh, marketing and this is separate from Amazon marketing services it's basically something that you can get through vendor central although recently I've discovered that uh, uh, people who have Amazon Advantage accounts and those are typically to sell media products such as books or DVDs and things like that they can use it too and even better recently Amazon has eliminated the price for using this feature. Uh, I remember looking at it a couple of years ago, and to set up one of those pages like this, uh, this, this, this uh, teapot, you had to pay six hundred dollars or something. Now Amazon says it's free, at least for certain types of accounts. And I have an Amazon Advantage account, so I can create one of these things. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of how to create an Amazon A plus marketing page and give you some tips on how to get the most out of it and also how to save some time. So um, I'm using my Amazon Advantage account, but if you have an Amazon Vendor Central account, you can do this as well, I believe. And basically you go to the advertising or to the merchandising section and you click on something that says A plus D detail pages. So select that. Um, and it's a self-service tool. All right, I already know how to use that. Thank you, Amazon. And what I'm going to do is click the button that says build your own. And, and by the way, I already have a couple of these here. Some of them are in progress. Some of them are already published. But let's take a look at building your own. And it's a little bit of a old fashioned tool. It's not so slick. I think they probably designed this four or five years ago, but it does the job and it can be very effective. So Amazon claims that if you use these pages, you can actually get a 3 to 10% improvement on sales if you do it right. So the first thing to do is you have to find the product you want to sell. So uh, most people use either their ASIN number. And for the products I want to put on the A plus detail page, I actually have an ISBN number. So I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to copy that over and then paste that right in. So here's the thing that I want to develop a, a detail page for. And so I'm just going to click plus there. And maybe this would be good to actually see what the page looks like now. So I'm just going to quickly go in. Let's, let's create another Amazon page here and search for it. So it's the Google Docs cheat sheet that my company publishes. Okay. All right. Here it is right here. It's not an expensive product. Uh, but it's something that I want to promote a little bit more. So I already have my description in my photo here, but below that there's there's uh, you know the advertisements from uh, Amazon Marketing Services or customers are also bought this, bought some other product. But then there's just the basic product details, the reviews, and that's it. So I want to add some more material that usually I think it'll appear right around here, like extra photos, 3D pictures, and more descriptions of what this product does be, that go beyond what the this basic description does and to be honest with you a lot of people they scroll right past this part of it they go straight to the reviews so if you put something else uh, for them to look at maybe they'll find out some more information about the product and some special uh, attributes of it so let's go back to to the uh, a plus creation tool so I've already selected the, the product and then just click continue okay so on the left side Amazon will have these different things that different types of uh, modules you can put in there. So for instance, here's the comparison chart that we saw on the tea kettle. Let's take a look at that again. At the bottom of this tea kettle, 
there's this chart that shows different types of tea kettles and buttons and stuff like that so you can compare it and uh, I guess the idea is if you wanted to add that to your own page you could do it and they put in this this uh, dummy text with these uh, dogs and just to get an idea of what it looks like I'm actually not going to use this particular product uh, that, that particular module I want to do something else so what I usually do is I use the standard image and specs detail so I'll drag that over here and then I like to put in this other one standard for images and text and basically what this is is you have uh, four images and then looks like a brief paragraph of text so I, I like that one too because it lets me this uh, product I'm uh, adding the details for it has four pages so these these four pictures actually fit pretty well so uh, you can save it for later uh, that basically just saves your progress and just hit close and then I hit continue all right so there's a master template and there's the uh, the actual product thing so if you want to you can create a master template I haven't done that because for my own products that I'm selling they they're so different that there's very little content that can apply for more than uh, apply to more than one product so I just basically create these one by one however I do use a text template and what I recommend that you do if you're creating this is you uh, create what I call a uh, scratch pad or just a text file that contains all the metadata all the data about your product whether it's a I'm selling these cheat sheets other people might be selling a tea kettle or a piece of electronic equipment or you know, who knows what Amazon has millions of products so the idea is instead of having to kind of call up this stuff from memory every time you need to do Amazon marketing services or um, enter some product information on another website you just have that all all at your hand so you can just use these whenever so I have the name of the product I have some short descriptions I have the ISBN numbers I have the uh, the SKUs that I use for the product, um, some other links and things like that. And then I've already prepared the text that's going to go on my A plus page. This is all this is everything that's going to go there. It's actually quite long. And the advantage of doing it this way, instead of you know just going straight to the tool and starting to type in things, um, if you make a mistake and you lose this and you lose this screen for some reason, or who knows, you know, uh, maybe you're your computer runs out of power or the internet connection goes down and all of a sudden you can't continue working on it or even worse you lose this particular detail page if you have the text file the scratch pad you can just do it again later on and just copy and paste from that so I usually compose all the text that I want to use in this file and then I copy and paste it over and it's easy to do so let's get started first things first it says 300 by 300 image um, that will appear there you don't have to create this means 300 pixels by 300 pixels and that's a you know it's a kind of a mid-sized image and you don't actually have to resize it to that particular size but it should be at least this much and even bigger so I already have some I already have some images that I can use for this so click the button that says upload image and then you have to you have to kind of go around on your on your uh, hard drive and find out where this is so I have everything organized into different folders all right so let's just do this without using the details okay so I know which ones that I want to use and I have all these images 700 and I, actually that's not the one I want to use I want to use the 3d the 3d uh, standing up 400 by 400 right there so let's select that click open all right there it is and then you're prompted to enter text here um, so I already have that prepared on my scratch pad so let's just quickly go over and go through that so first this goes at the top now um, one thing that I've, I've noticed is that sometimes there's not enough room to put everything in there so you might have to shorten it Google's all right so so I don't have enough I don't have enough space to say what exactly what I want to say I wanted to say free online word processor I'll just say for Google Docs good enough and then I go down and I basically I'm copying and pasting over the text so I'm using keyboard shortcuts goes much faster and 
basically what I've done ahead of time is prepare some kind of longer descriptions because I know that I need to fill up a lot of space on that on my detail page and I'm really ready to go here I'm rolling okay periodically save for later this won't take you off the screen it'll just save your progress and then I've done that side and now they have enough this is a two column view here so in the second column There's more text to put in. All right. <laughs> you have to bear with me here. Maybe I'll do it an abbreviated version of this. So I don't bore you all the tears. So usually you know, I actually go kind of heavy on the bullets, but maybe for most people, five bullets is the ideal limit. Uh, Amazon actually advises being careful not just to copy and paste details of stuff that might already appear in the description above, but to tell a story. And what I do is on this section over here, that's where I tell the story. So if you use Google Docs in the office at home or at or at school, you know how difficult it can be to use unfamiliar features and figure out what all the buttons on the toolbar are for. So basically what I'm trying to do is relate what this product is to the customer. So Amazon's big thing is you should really understand your customer and kind of like what their barriers might be to buying something. So I use, I use, um, I use wor special words that I think will help to remove those barriers. For instance, um, this inexpensive desktop reference. So this tells what it is, and also it's inexpensive. I let people know that this is not a big ticket item. I mean, currently the price of this is, I think I'm selling it for like $5 or something. So that's a really good deal. That's a, that's a lot of uh, product for a relatively um, you know, useful tool that you can use if you use Google Docs all the time. Okay, I'm getting close, believe me. Okay, so I'm going to save that for later. And then at this point, I can preview it. Let's take a look and see what I have here. All right, so it's warned me I have a blank module because there is a blank module at the bottom. But what it's done is it's already started to put in the, the text. And maybe what I can do, let's actually click this link and see if it looks any better. Yeah, here we go. That looks all right, doesn't it? So this is the text that I've just entered plus the 3D photo. Here are those bullets that I have. So I'm happy with that so far, but I want to keep on going. So I'm going to go back and just finish up and really this, this won't take long. So this is the extra module I mentioned. It has four photos and then some text. So let's quickly do that. This is easy to find. Okay. So I'm just going through and banging these out. By the way, you can add keywords as well. Or, and you can also choose to let people see the larger image, which can be helpful. For folks, uh, maybe if, if they want to see some extra details. Okay, one more. And I know this is slow, but this is how it works, you know. It would actually be a lot slower if I didn't have this, uh, this kind of scratch pad to use. Okay. So I'm going through. Almost done, really. Don't go away yet. Okay. Page four. All right. This is it. All right. I am done. I'll save that for later. Preview it. Let's take a look at the desktop view here. So this is, what it, this is what it will look like, this particular section, when it's added to my product page. All right. It looks pretty snazzy, doesn't it? And then also you can kind of view larger if you want to. It'll show a larger picture of it. All right, that's great. So um, let's check out. You ready to check out? Yes. 
Now notice this, it used to be $600. That's a lot of money for my company. You know, I'm a s small business owner. $600 is a sizable chunk of cash. And if it's just three to 10% extra sales at best that you can hope for, I'd have to sell a lot of these cheat sheets to, to make that back. But they've eliminated that price. Now it's $0. I, they, they say, they say uh, elsewhere on this website that it's, it's you know, free forever. And I contacted their customer support just to verify, and yes, it's true. So I'm going to place my order, and that's good. All right. So let's just go back and take a look and see what it might look like. So here's the, this is one that's used by the, um, the, tea, the tea kettle. I actually created another one earlier. So let's take a look at the Google Sheets cheat sheet which has this A plus detail page. So here it is. All right, here's the regular description. And now people scrolling down to learn out more, they'll say, all right, people who bought this also bought that. Aha, here is the A plus detail page. I didn't, I, I should have made this a little bit longer and actually I'll probably go back and change that, but it has a 3D image, um, it has some more images here and some details. And it kind of helps to tell the story of what this is and how people can use it. Because not everybody may understand right away what it's for. And then if they want to find out the reviews, they can scroll down and see more. So that basically is how you use the A plus detail pages to buy uh, whatever product you may have. With the caveat is you need either a vendor central account or an Amazon Advantage account. It may not be available to people who have things like Amazon seller accounts or Kindle Direct Publishing, at least not yet. And what I found is, is that Amazon updates the program as time goes on. Um, for instance, they got rid of the, the $600 charge that they used to stick, stick people with. And I think they'll probably change the interface here too to create stuff. So it'll be a lot easier to create stuff. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of technology, go to in30minutes.com. We have uh, cheat sheets and we also have lots of uh, books and other products to check out. And be sure to also check out my YouTube uh, videos, which include things, videos about all of these types of technologies, how to use them, and things like Amazon marketing services. Go to in30minutes.com, hit the YouTube link, and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time.